Happy Friday, Jeremiah Conjure from Annuity Association. I'm bringing another exciting, hot off the press, live annuity review that's unbiased. And this product that we're reviewing today is the Retirement Stages 7 Fixed Indexed Annuity offered by Delaware Life Insurance Company. This particular product was the uh, eighth ranked fixed indexed annuity from a sales perspective as of quarter three of 2020. And Delaware Life came in ranked number 11 out of all the insurance companies that offer indexed annuities. They were ranked number 11 in total sales uh, a lot uh, because of this you know, particular product that they offer called the Retirement Stages 7. So we're going to be diving in, dissecting uh, this particular annuity to, to figure out what the features and benefits are for the end consumer. And in addition, we're going to be taking a look at the hypothetical back testing, which will give us an idea of how this particular annuity performs from an accumulation perspective when looking back over long periods of time. So I'm um, very excited to bring this review to you. And uh, without uh, jibber jabbering anymore, I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, we're going to start off with our quick legal disclaimer, and then we'll dive into the brochure. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen here. And hopefully you guys can see this. If, if so, and you wanna make it larger, you can click the bottom right-hand corner of your screen if you're viewing this on Facebook or YouTube, and it will make it larger for you um, so that you can see everything that we're reviewing today. So we're reviewing the Delaware Life Retirement Stages 7 Fixed Indexed Annuity. This is a review, not a recommendation to buy or sell an annuity. Delaware Life has not endorsed this review in any way nor do we receive any compensation for this review. This review is meant to be an independent review at the request of website visitors so they can see our perspective when breaking down the positives and negatives of this particular annuity. Before purchasing any investment product, be sure to do your own due diligence and consult a properly licensed professional should you have any specific questions as they relate to your individual circumstances. All names, marks, and materials used for this review are property of their respective owners and not that of annuityassociation.com. While care has been made to ensure this review is complete and accurate, no guarantees are made to the completeness or accuracy. All right, so that uh, gets me into the uh, premise of these reviews and why we, we um, strive to put these out to the marketplace. And really it's um, about bringing transparency to the annuity industry and, and more so for the end consumer or the investor that's looking to buy these annuities. At the end of the day, you know, when we're asking someone to invest their retirement savings into an annuity or any product for that matter, we feel that there needs to be a solid foundation of trust and, and more so trust through education and understanding. And with indexed annuities and in, ge in general, the entire investment industry, it's a very antiquated industry. And they're just within recent years, there's been some advancements in technology and softwares that give us the ability to do side-by-side -side comparisons to help you, the end user, the end consumer, make educated comparisons to determine which product is, 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 is ideal for your unique situation to help you meet your you know, objectives and goals financially in retirement. Now, indexed annuities are a great tool for pre-retirees and retirees, specifically because they offer preservation of capital and contractual guarantees that can protect your hard-earned monies. And in addition, they give upside growth potential based on how the underlying indexes perform. Well, there's hundreds of these different products available on the market, and, and it's almost humanly poss impossible to, you know, especially as just a consumer to know which one's truly the best one for your unique situation. So that led us to an opportunity um, to form annuity association to help those out there interested in indexed annuities that, that identify with the features and benefits and the contractual guarantees offered by them. And, you know, really for those people looking to now find the the right one of all the various indexed annuities, which one is going to be right for you based on how the indexes that are available perform, um, how the features and benefits help you meet your needs and goals, 
and how the insurance companies and, and their track records and, you know, product offerings and how those stack up against, you know, what you're looking for from a safe preservation vehicle. So um, that's what we're here to do is to provide unbiased reviews. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter which product it is that you elect to move forward with. If you do identify as a fixed indexed annuity being right for you in retirement, the, the goal is to help you make an educated decision on which one and help you identify that annuity that's going to meet your needs and above and beyond. So um, we, do, you know, represent every major insurance company in the United States. And, um, you know, there's over 500 or so of these indexed annuities now on the marketplace. And our goal is to help you decipher them, figure out which one is right, and then, you know, answer any questions, take you through that educational process, and then help you uh, put those vehicles in place. So um, if you'd like to compare annuities, or if you'd like to compare this Delaware Life annuity to any other annuities on the marketplace, you can visit our website at annuityassociation.com. Right on the main page, click the green button to request your free report. And if you'd like to speak to me directly, um, and how and you know have me help you point point yourself in the right direction regarding annuities on the form you fill out for the for the request on the report just answer the question that asks if you'd like to be contacted select yes and I'll I'll reach out to you in a timely fashion and we can figure out a good time that's convenient to take you through this process so um, without further ado let's go ahead and get started in the product brochure so let me share my screen again and we'll dive right in. Okay, so hopefully you can see this pretty good, pretty well. Retirement Stage of Seven by Delaware Life. It is a fixed indexed annuity to help you plan for your retirement. So indexed annuities are designed with the number one risk facing retirees today, and that is that we are living longer than ever before. Americans are living longer on average than ever before, and you may even spend more years in retirement than you spent at work. This is great news, but with it comes the challenge of finding ways to both grow and protect your retirement money, especially in times of economic and mar market uncertainty. And if you're relying on withdrawals from investment accounts for income in retirement, market volatility can take a toll. Managing that risk is crucial to ensure you have the money you need to last for that longer retirement, particularly if you're closer to retirement because you'll have less time to recover from those market downturns. None of us have a crystal ball to show us how our retirement will play out. The wisest retirement plan prepares for both the expected and the unexpected. So what they're saying is that we need to expect the possible reality that, you know, we could, you know, spend 20 to 30 years in retirement. So here's a graph that they show the average life expectancy based on current age. Females will uh, outlive males, generally speaking, if you compare, you know, the same age to in the same health, uh, females will outlive males. So guys out there um, expect that our, our spouses and our loved ones that are female are going to outlive us. So we need to make sure that we do the proper planning to uh, ensure our nest egg last to, you know, not only our lives, but to cover theirs as well. So there is a statistic out there um, that I'm speaking to that's not on this brochure, but there's a 50% chance someone age 60 today that uh, a married couple that's in their 60s has a 50% chance one of the spouses will live to be past the age of 90. So it should not come as a surprise. People are living longer than ever before because of the advancements in medicine, health, and technology. So fixed indexed annuities are designed to help you pursue growth and protection while you're saving. A fixed indexed annuity offers guaranteed principal, growth potential, and retirement income options. Now, the key word here is guaranteed principal in that first circle. Fixed indexed annuities are the only financial instrument available today that can offer a contractual guarantee of principal protection. Um, the only other one would be a bank CD or another safe, you know, safe money instrument. But when you're looking at an indexed annuity, when you buy any annuity for that matter, you're buying some sort of guarantee. And the guarantee that's found in an indexed annuity is the guarantee of principal protection. Are you, as you focus on saving for retirement, the challenge is to find ways to both grow and protect your money, especially in times of economic and market uncertainty. 
A fixed indexed annuity can help you meet that challenge. In its simplest form, a fixed indexed annuity is a long-term contract with an insurance company that can help you build assets for retirement by, number one, protecting the money you put into the contract, number two, offering the potential for your money to grow tax deferred, and number three, paying interest based on the performance of market indexes that you select. Plus, all fixed indexed annuities offer a guaranteed death benefit so your beneficiaries receive at least the value of your account and access to a portion of your cash value every year. So one of the, the number one misconceptions is that, you know, the insurance companies keep your money if you die, if, and that's if you're invested in an annuity. That is entirely false. Um, anybody telling you that is, is lying um, to you. Um, it, that is not true. It, it says it right here in the contract that a guaranteed death benefit, uh, it will be paid to your designated beneficiaries regardless of where you are in the contract. So just keep that in mind. The insurance company does not keep your money if you pass away when you're invested in this type of vehicle. When you're ready to retire, a fixed indexed annuity gives you two ways to turn your savings into retirement income. You can take withdrawals when you need them from the cash value of your annuity contract. And, or you can annuitize your contract value into a series of guaranteed payments for life or for a specified period for you and if you purchase a joint contract for your spouse. Now the word annuitize, what that means is in exchange for the contract value, the insurance company will give you a guaranteed payout, whether that be for life or for a specified period. Now keep in mind only about 3% or less of all indexed annuities actually annuitize their contract. That is an old terminology, an old way of doing business with life for lifetime income. Nowadays, these annuities oftentimes will offer what's called a lifetime income rider, which there's a fee charge for, but that lifetime income rider allows you to maintain control over the principal or over the contract value while still also receiving guaranteed income. So, if you do annuitize, we're not saying that it's a, a good thing or a bad thing. It may be a better offer than what you could find with a product with lifetime income rider, but in regards to a higher amount of income, but just keep in mind when you annuitize, you're giving up control over the contract value. You'll no longer have access to the principal uh, and any interest that's been accrued to that point because you're, in agree you're agreeing to re receive a lifetime payment or a period certain of payments uh, in exchange for that control. Delaware Life Retirement Stages 7 offers unique features and flexibility like all fixed indexed annuities. Retirement Stages 7 is a fixed indexed annuity that offers growth potential, principal protection, and income options to help you reach your retirement goals. Your benefits are delivered in two stages. Stage 1, growing and protecting your savings while you're working, and stage two, options for income when you retire. The seven, the number seven in this annuity's name is important too because it means you will have free access to all of the cash in your contract after seven years. However, you could pay a penalty or surrender charge if you take withdrawals of more than 10% per year from your contract before then. Withdrawals prior to your income start date will impact your future income payments. So this annuity does offer liquidity with free withdrawals uh, up to 10% per year. Um, so if you put $100,000 in after the first year, you could access 10% or $10,000 um, each year. So you have liquidity there, which addresses the, you know, the, another misconception that you tie up your money and there's no liquidity in an annuity. That's not true either. Um, but also the word, the number seven, excuse me, just equals the surrender period, which means after seven years, you can exit the contract 100% with no penalties incurred for withdrawals. So stage one, growth potential and protection while you save for retirement. Let's break that down. During your working years, the value of a retirement stage of seven annuity can increase based on the performance of the interest or index options you choose the crediting method you select to fit your individual needs, and earnings that are locked in every year and protected from loss. So how an FIA works is that an FIA or fixed indexed annuity pays you interest that is based on the performance of the market index or indexes that you choose. 
Different fixed indexed annuities use different methods to calculate their interest credits and there may be limits to the amount you receive. So there's four options in this annuity to help you grow your money. Retirement stages seven has the potential to build cash value based on the performance of the interest rate options you select. Your financial professional can familiarize you with these index options and help you select the ones most suitable for your goals and risk tolerance. When you choose, remember that you can pick more than one strategy to diversify your sources of interest and change your selections on your annuities contract anniversary if your needs, goals, or risk tolerance shifts over time. So what's neat about fixed indexed annuities and what's often overlooked in my opinion is that you don't have to put all of your eggs in one basket inside the annuity. There's going to be various different index strategies in the annuity. Uh, in this case, there's probably at least, yeah, look, looks like there's at least three. And so with that said, you can diversify and allocate, you know, 50% of your monies towards one index strategy and 50% to the other index strategy. Or you could do a third, since there's three different ones, a third in each, each one. And what that does is it diversifies your investment in the annuity to give you upside potential every single year because you're spreading out um, the monies across three different platforms that are going to you know, possibly earn differently every single year. So um, it's a really neat option. And, and that, that's one thing that will help our clients and prospective clients do is determine which index is going to give us the highest opportunity for growth. And the way we do that is we back test these indexes and study them and see how they've performed previously over long periods of time to give us an you know, educated um, decision on which one is going to perform potentially better in the future based on that back tested performance. So when it comes to looking at indexed annuities, you know, there's hundreds of them available on the marketplace today. Um, it's easy to identify with the features and benefits in terms of the guarantees of principal protection and upside potential. The hardest part in finding the right indexed annuity is finding the best index that's available on the marketplace. And that's exactly what we do is we specialize in, in build, build, um, breaking down all of the indexes and researching and analyzing their performances and how they work mechanically to provide an, an, a return. And then once we've identified the best indexes available, we then find the right annuity products that offer those specific indexes. So not all indexes are available in every annuity. Um, some are, are proprietary and exclusive to certain insurance companies. And in addition, not all index indexes are created equal. They're all built differently and perform differently. So if you're interested in finding the right index to help you achieve safer accumulation and give you the highest economic opportunity for growth moving forward, if you'd like to work together, you can visit annuityassociation.com right on the main page, click the green button and fill out the reform for a free annuity report and um, answer the question. Yes. If you'd like to be contacted and I'll get in touch with you and we can schedule a time to dive in and go through that process. So, Happy to work with you. Thankful for the opportunity. Inside the retire stage, retirement stages seven, there's going to be one fixed account, which will have a declared guaranteed interest rate every single year. And then there's going to be three different index options that you can diversify within the annuity itself. The first one is the First Trust Capital Strength Barclays 5% Index. The First Trust Capital Strength Barclays 5% Index creates a diversified portfolio by combining US stocks selected based on capital strength methodology with a portfolio of four Barclays US Treasury Futures Indexes. The index seeks to enhance return and manage risk exposure by adjusting the portfolio's asset allocation on a monthly basis using techniques from modern portfolio theory. It aims to maintain an annual volatility level at or below 5% using a procedure called volatility control to further control risk. Um, this is a fairly new concept in terms of the volatility control indexes being used in these indexed annuities. They really started to come into the marketplace back in 2008 after the global financial crisis. A lot of these firms went and, and developed these types of indexes because they were trying to design an index that would learn volatility and be able to dynamically shift 
assets to uncorrelated asset classes to hedge the volatility. We're big advocates of volatility controlled index strategies, and we can take you through a process that breaks that down and how they work. But they're definitely something to consider taking a look at because of the upside potential that they provide, especially in very volatile markets. The second index offered is the S&P 500 index. It's an option, obviously, that may be a good choice for those who want to earn interest based on the performance of a range of large U.S. businesses. The index is widely regarded as a premier benchmark for the domestic stock market. It contains stocks from 500 leading companies in various industries. So everybody's heard of the S&P 500. It's the benchmark for the stock market. 500 of the best U.S.-based companies are comprising that index, and that is an available option to you within inside the retirement stages seven fixed index annuity. And then last but not least is the third option, Morgan Stanley Global Opportunities Index. This index uses a rules-based multi-asset strategy and a trend-following methodology to make allocations to global equities, interest rates, and commodities. This approach is intended to diversify risk and balance exposure to various market risk factors to reduce the portfolio's natural volatility. The index is managed to a 5% target volatility over the long term and may also include a cash allocation to reduce overall volatility. So at the end of the day, you know, for pre-retirees and those that have recently retired, the number one goal that we all have in common is that we have to be more conservative with our nest egg and we have to ensure that the money's there. It's not um, going to be risked to high volatility periods in the market. And it's all about protecting our earnings from that downside. Retirement stages seven includes an annual reset feature that locks in any earnings from the previous year. So if you have one year that the index that you're associated to um, you know, performs well, well, upon your anniversary date, that interest will be locked in. And if in the event, God forbid, the second year, that index performs negatively, well, keep in mind, because of the contractual guarantees of the annuity, the, the earnings that you've locked in cannot be touched, your principal cannot be touched, and there's no negative credits that you'll ever be applied, you know, that'll ever be applied to your balance. So you're always will have your principal that you invested day one plus any interest that's been locked in. The worst case scenario is if the index performs negatively, you'll just be credited a zero to your contract, a 0% credit. So we have a, a term in our industry that zero is your hero. That's what's protecting you from market risk. It's, it's not always about, you know, when you look at investing in the market, it's not always about those big gains that come with investing in the stock market. In retirement, it's really about avoiding the big losses and an indexed annuity does just that. With this feature, you don't have to worry about whether your retirement savings will be diminished by market dips. Plus, both your premium payment and any interest locked in at the end of each term are protected from the loss by the claims paying ability and financial strength of Delaware Life. So for those not familiar with Delaware Life, they are an A minus rated company. They are a financial, financially stable organization. Um, AM Best has them rated at an A minus, um, which is a excellent score. When the market is up, the annuity account value can rise. So here's a chart that will show us the logistics or mechanics of an indexed annuity. So you'll have um, the blue line, uh, dark blue line is the tr is the actual stock market index. And then the light blue is the actual indexed annuity account value. And what this is saying is it's showing you as you follow this dark blue line and you see how there's spikes and valleys, they, it goes up, you know, peaks and valleys, it goes up and then down and then up and then down. Well, if you notice the lighter shade of blue, that's the actual contract value of the annuity you'll see it rides up with the incline of the dark blue line. But when the dark blue line goes down, the light blue just, just stays level. And then you'll see when it goes back up, the dark blue line goes back up, the light blue line goes back up as well. And then if the market's flat, the annuity's flat. And if the market goes up, the, market, the annuity value goes up. So it, I always tell prospective clients, picture a staircase 
And that's the way an annuity grow, an indexed annuity grows. It just goes sideways when the market's down, but up when the market's up. Sideways when the market's down, up when the market's up. Okay, so let's talk about the access to your money within the annuity. After the first contract year, you can withdraw up to the greater of 10% of the last anniversary value of your contract or required minimum distributions with no surrender charges. You have free access to all of the cash in your contract after seven years. So if you have a qualified account like a 401k or IRA and you're thinking about rolling it over to this annuity, you can definitely do that. Just keep in mind when required minimum distributions occur, um, uh, typically at age 72 now, um, if you have to take those required minimum distributions out, you can do so and there won't be any surrender charges uh, incurred in the event you're taking it out during the first seven years. So um, keep that in mind. That's a good, good thing to note. However, if you take withdrawals from your contract before the seven year period is over, you could pay early withdrawal or surrender charges for any amount that exceeds the 10% free withdrawal amount. Withdrawals will always reduce your future retirement earnings. So when you're looking at investing into an annuity, we want to make sure that when we're making this decision that you're putting the right amount of money in that you won't ever have to touch the money unless there's a dire, dire emergency. So when you do the right planning, you should be earmarking some of your estate towards contingent or catastrophic life events that you may need lump sums of cash to pay for, whether that be a new roof or uh, a new car if your car got totaled, or maybe you had a health event that required some, you know, extensive uh, care healthcare cost. Um, whatever monies we put into this annuity, we want to make sure that we never have to touch them for the duration of that surrender period. But in the event you do need access to monies, you do have that 10% free withdrawal that you can access every single year. Uh, a lot of clients like to take systematic withdrawals based on how the index, you know, indexed annuity grows. And they'll use that extra money. If it went up 5%, they'll withdraw 5% that year and take that cash and go do something fun with it. Maybe you take a vacation or buy a new car or whatever the case may be. They're going to treat the annuity and only take out the interest if it had if they had a good year. So that's another good way to look at it. You can take up to 10% every year after the first year. The exceptions to paying the early withdrawal charges are if you're required to take minimum distribution starting at age 72, if you withdraw the money to pay for nursing home or hospice care, or if you qualify for the bailout provision that allows for free withdrawals if the S&P 500 index performs poorly. So Another misconception about annuities is that, oh, well, you tie all your money up in an annuity. You can't access it without penalties, even if you need it. Well, in the event of a nursing home event or hospice care, maybe you have a terminal illness, um, this con contractually is stating that if those types of events occur, you can access 100% of the principal and any interest accrued over that time to cover the cost of care. So you don't have to worry about you know, if something like that happens that your, your money's all tied up, that's just not true. This is stating the facts and that is that you can't access the money for those types of events. And um, it's a very good peace of mind to note. The annuity will have a guaranteed death benefit if you die before you begin receiving annuity income payments. Retirement stages seven guarantees that your beneficiaries will receive the full account value, including all of the interest you've earned, and it may avoid probate. They do offer a return a premium option in this annuity, which is an optional rider. Rider is another word for a feature, and it's available for an additional fee. It allows you to discontinue your annuity at any time before its renewal or termination date and lets the amount of surrender charge, uh, excuse me, limits the amount of surrender charge paid. Once you have purchased the rider, it cannot be terminated prior to the end of the surrender charge period. The rider fee will be deducted until the earliest of the end of the surrender charge period, the annuity date, or the termination of the contract. So this is a unique option. Not all indexed annuities offer this feature, but they're basically putting their money where their mouth is at the insurance company. They're saying, hey, if you elect to have this feature, uh, you pay a small fee for it. We'll, we'll determine what the fee is here momentarily. And what they're saying is that if for whatever reason you're not satisfied with the performance or 
um, you know, maybe you had a better investment opportunity or your needs have changed and, you're, and you don't need this product any longer. Um, if you have this option added to the contract, you can exit out completely and avoid those surrender charges um, that would be incurred if you did not have that option. And then they, they have a built-in bailout endorsement, which is another unique feature offered by Delaware Life. Not most, most of the indexed annuities offered do not have this feature, which is pretty unique. Retirement Stages 7 also comes with a free bailout benefit that enables you to make full or partial withdrawals from the contract without a surrender charge or market value adjustment if the renewal cap for the one-year point-to-point S&P 500 index falls below the bailout cap rate. The cap is the maximum interest your fixed index annuity can earn in a year. So this is a really um, awesome feature. I really think that this is where the industry is going to start going because one of the key things is, you know, these insurance companies have to offer competitive renewal rates on these crediting methods. And in the event that they don't, um, you know, your earning opportunity or earning potential can be impacted. So what they're saying here is that worst case scenario, if they're not able to hold up their end of the bargain and offering the rates of the contract um, for the specific S&P 500 index, and it falls below a certain threshold, so they're going to have a cap rate. A cap rate is just a ceiling on how much of the index's growth do you get to benefit in up to that cap. Um, on any given year. So for example, if the S&P 500 index had 10% growth and it has a 5% cap, well then your contract would be credited the 5%, not the 10%. Um, so it's still a good deal. You're, you're not taking any risk to earn that, that money. So you're still getting a fair value there. But what they're stating with this bailout endorsement is this, for whatever reason, they drop the cap rate lower than what their threshold states in the contract they'll let you exit the annuity free of charge. So they're again, putting their money where their mouth is and saying, hey, look, if for whatever reason, they are not able to hold up their end of the agreement, they're gonna let you exit with no penalty. So I think that that's a very fair offer. So how does the bailout work? So let's look at option one. Now these are not specific rates, these are just examples, but let's look at the S&P 500, one year point to point with a cap index account. So you'll see at the on the white bar on the left at issue, the cap rate was 5%. And then on the next year, they're saying that they renewed the cap at 2%, while the bailout cap rate was set to 2.75%. So if Delaware Life was lower than 2.75% on the renewal cap rate for any given crediting period, then you could exit the contract with no surrender penalty. On the right-hand side, the, the other blue square to the right, they're showing the 5% cap at issue date and uh, setting it with a 2.75% bailout cap rate and that the renewal rate was 3.5%. Well, it's above the 2.75% bailout cap rate. So you wouldn't be able to exit uh, penalty-free uh, in that example. So they're basically saying that, hey, we're never going to, you know, design. They don't design these products to ever go and, and bait and switch anybody. They're not designing them to say, hey, look, we're going to give you this the first year, but reduce it the next year. And in the event they fall below their commitments, they're going to let you exit anyway. So I think that that's very, very important and a unique feature that I feel most other insurance companies are going to follow. Now, stage two, options for income when you retire. When you transition to retirement, retirement stage of seven gives you the flexibility to receive income in the form of periodic or systematic withdrawals. Or you have the option to annuitize so that you receive predictable payments for a specified period or your lifetime. Your financial professional can help you select the option that best suits your situation. Okay. Let's talk about how the in, in, uh, interest increases your account value. So retirement stage of seven is not invested directly in the stock market or in any securities. Instead, your account receives interest based on the performance of the index or indexes you've selected. 
The method used to calculate these interest credits varies from index to index. It may also be limited by a cap, a participation rate, or a spread. A cap is a maximum interest rate that an FIA can charge, or excuse me, can earn. For example, if the index returns 8.2% in a given year and your annuity has a cap rate of 6%, then your interest credit for that time period would be capped at 6%. If your annuity uses a participation rate, it will credit interest that is a percentage of the gains achieved by the underlying index. For example, if the index you've selected rises by 10% and your FIA has a 75% participation rate, the contract would receive 7.5% in interest. So they're taking that 10% growth multiplied by 75% participation and that's the net number that would be credited to your account. An annuity with a spread, a specified percentage, subtracts that spread from any gain that the underlying index achieves. For example, if the index increases 10% and the annuity has a spread of 4%, the index interest credit would be 6%, which is the net number when you take 10% minus the 4% spread, 6% is that net credited interest that would be applied to your account. For a more detailed look at how interest for retirement stages seven is calculated and credited, you can visit our website, fill out the form to request your free report by clicking the green button right on the main page and uh, we'll get together and get that information out to you. Okay, so let's focus on what really matters. At Delaware Life Insurance Company, they're focused on what matters, creating practical solutions with easy to understand features delivered with clarity, integrity, and efficiency. They've made it their mission to deliver a seamless experience that gives their clients exactly what they're looking for, the comfort of understanding, the confidence of transparency, and streamlined products without needless features. Delaware Life is a member of the Group 1001, a dynamic network of businesses making insurance more useful, logical, and accessible for everyone. As of September 30th, 2020, Delaware Life Insurance Company had assets of $41.9 billion and liabilities of $40.3 billion. With more than 300,000 active annuity and life insurance policies. So they are a big established insurance company, a very good track record lot of money under management and they strive to provide transparency which that's the same thing we are uh, doing here at Annuity Association. Okay so that concludes the review of the brochure. This is just a bunch of uh, terms and conditions on the indexes that are found in there but we're going to go ahead and now dive into the analysis portion of our review where we're going to take a look at the hypothetical back-tested performance on the Delaware Life Stages um, Retirement Stages 7 Fixed Indexed Annuity and see all three of those index strategies, how they would have performed over the last 10, 15, and 20 year periods. We're also going to identify which index strategy performs number one, number two, and number three chronologically in order uh, based on the most amount of return, hypothetically using those same back tested performance. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll dive into that portion as well. Bear with me. Okay, so we've got the retirement stage of seven. If you haven't already done so, please enlarge your screen to full screen view at the bottom right hand corner of your viewing screen. Um, it should allow you to enlarge it so you can see this portion of the review. So coming in, what we're looking at is all of the retirement stage seven indexed annuities and crediting strategies that are available within, with inside them. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see three columns where we're looking at the last 10, 15 and 20 year periods of time. Um, we're going to focus on the 10 year period from December 31st of 2010 to December 31st of 2021st. Okay, so the first strategy that comes in number one during this time frame is the one year first trust capital strength Barclays 5% point to point with a participation rate. So this is a one year crediting strategy using a point to point with participation rate. So again, to explain what a participation rate means is of the index's performance for that given year, you multiply that positive performance by the participation rate. So if it was 10%, you'd multiply it by 80% participation, which is loc located right here. 
And then the net number that would be credited to your contract would be 8%. So when we talk about point to point, on this uh, specific index, the first trust capital strength Barclays 5%, when you sign up for this annuity, you're gonna have an anniversary date, which is the date that the policy was issued. On that anniversary date, you're also gonna receive the starting index value for this index on that given day. That's the starting point of the, in, of the first year point-to-point -point crediting strategy. After the first year and upon that, next, that first anniversary date, they're gonna take a look at the first trust capital strength Barclays 5%, and look at the ending point of that index and see what the value is. If the ending point is higher than the starting point, which was your first anniversary date, you know, the date that the policy was issued, well, then that means it had positive growth. Then they're gonna multiply the 80% participation rate and credit your contract, whatever that net number is. Now, all of these indexes can be found online. You can go right to the you know, direct website for these indexes and look at the current index value to see where they are and how they've performed in the past. So these are tra traceable uh, indexes and um, it's pretty neat, honestly. Like you can go in and take a look and how they've performed, what they, how they're built and, and all of that good stuff, which is what we are excited to do here uh, at Annuity Association. Now, during that 10 year period of time, this number here is 5.06%. When looking back over that 10 year period of time, using the current 80% participation rate with a one year point to point strategy, this contract would have performed 5.06% on average annualized credited interest. So every year, the average annualized credited interest rate was 5.06% when adding them up over that 10 year period. Now, just below that, you're going to see the green number and red number. What this software is doing is it's taking a look at the last 20-year periods and giving us the best 10-year period of the last 20 years. In this case, it's February 14th of 2010 to February 14th of 2020. This annuity would have performed at 6.02%. On the other side, you have a red number, 4.58%. That's the worst 10 year period over the last 20 years from November 1st of 2010 to November 1st of 2020, their return would have been 4.58%. Now keep in mind, I must make the disclaimer that prior performance is not an indicator of future performance, but it does give us a good idea of how this annuity has performed in the past to give us some type of um, you know, expectation of what it could potentially do in the future. Now, I always tell clients, don't get sold on this annuity by the best case scenario. Make the decision, if this is the one you're interested in, make it based on the worst possible scenario over that last 10 years, which is 4.58%. If you can still sleep at night knowing that your money's protected from principal, uh, you know, from market risk, excuse me, that your principal's protected from market risk, and Worst case scenario during the last 10 years, it was 4.58%. If markets perform similar, similarly to the last 10 and that number is good for you and you can you know, sleep at night knowing that, hey, 4.58% is a potential reality, well, then you should make a decision that this is something to move forward with. But if that number doesn't sit well with you, then you should keep looking and finding a different annuity that may offer a better worst case scenario when looking backwards over that same 10 year period. If you'd like to find out if this one or there's another one on the market that could potentially give you a better worst case scenario when looking back over the same period of time, you can visit our website at annuityassociation.com and visit that uh, main page, click the green button to request your free comparison report and we'll get that out to you. Okay, so the number two index option that gives us the second highest economic growth opportunity when looking back over the last 10 years is the one year Morgan Stanley global opportunities point to point with the participation rate. The participation rate on that index is 75%. And when we look at that same period of time, the average annualized credited interest rate, hypothetically over the last 10 years is 3.78%. Highest 10 years, 7.13%. And worst 10 is 3.63%.
And then last but not least, the S&P 500 comes in as the third best crediting option uh, from an indexing perspective um, with a par rate of only 28%. So that's the reason why it's not performing as well. So you'll note that you know the S&P 500 obviously during these timeframes have, have kicked a, a much higher return over the last 10 years. Um, if memory serves me correctly, over the last 10, it's been about 11% that the S&P 500 has performed at. But because of the participation rate being only 28%, that's why the number, the average annualized credited rate for this strategy in this annuity is 3.54%. Best 10-year period from March 4th of 09 to March 4th of 2019 is 461 And worst 10-year period from December 30th of 2001 to December 30th of 2011, 2.54%. So um, if it was me and I was looking at this particular annuity, obviously the first trust uh, capital strength is gonna give us the highest economic opportunity for growth when looking back over the last 10 year period. But it also probably would be wise to diversify a little bit within the annuity to give us a, a, at least a, a more uh, potential for accredited interest every single year. Um, if you put all your eggs in one basket and the index doesn't perform for that year, you'd have a zero. Well, zeros are, are great because you're not losing anything, but we want to try to grow at least something, one, two, three percent every year and obviously reach for the highest uh, as, as well. So I hope that makes sense. Let's do one more thing here. Let's dive into the actual index indicator to see where these annuity indexes are currently at the present time. Um, we have the ability to take a look at, you know, very th uh, thorough analysis on these indexed annuities and the, and the actual annuity index, I mean, the indexes themselves to determine, you know, how they've performed uh, very, you know, from the short term, just looking back last year or 2019. And then we also like to look at their five and 10 year periods. So let's look at the Morgan Stanley real quick, and then let's pull up the S&P. All right. So bear with me while this pulls up here. So we've got those three index strategies that are found in the retirement stages seven fixed indexed annuity from Delaware Life. S&P 500 index comes out on top, obviously, as, a, as the benchmark for the stock market. Year to date, 2.58%. Last year ended at 15.55. 2019, 28.88. And then over the last five years, 14.47. Over the last 10 years, 11.24. With Morgan Stanley, global opportunities is at 15 basis points year to date, 5.67% last year, 8.82% 2019. And then the last five years, 4.02. And the last 10 years, 4.99. And then the first trust capital strength, Barclays, 5%. It's actually down two and a three quarter percent this year, year to date. Last year, 1.11%, 9.21% .1 in 2019. Over the last five years, 4.95%. And over the last 10 years, 5.55%. Now, one key observation is obviously that the latter two of these indexes obviously don't perform like the S&P 500. You have to understand why that is. Those two index strategies are what we call multi-asset risk-controlled indexes. They're volatility-controlled indexes designed to perform, uh, produce more consistent returns over periods of time. The S&P 500 being a 100% equity exposure index has all the risk in it as well. So if you were in the S&P 500 back in 2008 during the global financial crisis, that specific index went down almost 40%. So, you know, with that being said, when we look at indexed annuities, we're trying to treat them more as a uh, bond alternative, if you will. And we're trying to um, really hit bunts, uh, hit singles, if you want to refer the analogy of baseball. Um, we're trying to hit singles, which are consistent, you know, small hits, uh, four, five, 6% every year with no downside and instead of trying to hit those home runs we want to be able to get the most amount of upside potential but do so consistently 
it's over long periods of time, consistency will always win against big, you know, big hitters. So um, I hope that makes sense to you. But if you're, if you'd like to really take a deeper dive into these index strategies, I'd be happy to do so. That's what we specialize in is helping you identify the best in index strategy that's going to help you meet your objectives over uh, a long period of time. Be happy to do that. So in order to, to connect with me, you can visit our website at annuityassociation.com. Right on the main page there, you can uh, request your free report and answer the question. If you'd like to be contacted, just select yes, and I'll get back to you in a very timely fashion to see when we can get together to go over um, these index strategies that are available. So um, that's going to conclude and wrap up our unbiased annuity review of the Delaware Stages a retirement stage of seven fixed indexed annuities offered by Delaware Life. Hope that you've gotten some value. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'd be happy and thankful for that. And um, stay tuned. Um, we're going to be doing these reviews on a weekly basis. So um, the feedback that we've received on these has been great, you know, super positive, and we're thankful to give back to those looking at indexed annuities to help you make an educated decision. So. Jeremiah Conjure signing off from annuityassociation.com. Take care of one another. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.